remembering Lee Elder, a trailblazer who broke barriers in golf. Lee Elder has joined the ranks of the Four Bears as the first black golfer to compete in the Masters. When he died, he was 87 years old. The PGA Tour announced his death on Twitter early Monday morning. This was written November 29, 2021. Elder was born in Dallas, Texas, in 1934. According to Black Past, his parents died while he was a child, leaving his sister to oversee the household. Golf drew Elder in as a way to supplement the family's income. He learned the ropes while caddying at Dallas All-White Tennis and Park Golf Club, where he was taught how to play by one of the top golf pros. As his abilities improved, Titanic Thompson took notice and became his financial backer, allowing him to compete in tournaments and further hone his skills. He became a member of the All-Black United Golfers Association in 1959. Elder dominated the sport, winning four Negro National Open Championships, and 18 of the 22 competitions he competed in 1966. He utilized the money he won in these tournaments, to pay the $6,500 required to enter the PGA Tour Qualifying School in 1967. He was the first black player to be invited to the South African PGA Tournament in 1971. Since apartheid was formed in 1948, this was South Africa's first integrated sports event. According to Golf Digest, he went on to become a four-time PGA Tour winner, who made his historic debut at Augusta National in 1975. He competed in five Masters and 34 major competitions, finishing in the top 25 in seven of them. The 1974 Monsanto Open, which qualified him for the 1975 Masters, the 1976 Houston Open, the 1978 Greater Milwaukee Open, and the 1978 American Express Westchester Classic are among Elder's many golf victories. D11 at the 1974 PGA Championship and D11 at the 1979 US Open, were his best major finishes. When he was named to the American Ryder Cup team that same year, he made history as the first black player to compete in the tournament. When I think back on my life's accomplishments, the one thing that I'm most proud of, is playing in the Ryder Cup and representing my nation, Elder told Golf Digest in 2020. As he paved the way for golfers like Tiger Woods, to follow in his footsteps, the golf legend suffered discrimination and death threats. Woods stated he was thinking about Elder, as he played down the course at the 1997 Augusta National, after winning the tournament for the first time. I wasn't the first to do something. Teddy Rhodes, Lee Elder, and Charlie Sifford, paved the road Woods stated to the press. As I approached the 18th fairway, I was thinking about them, and everything they've done for me. I said a quick prayer and thanked those gentlemen. They were the ones who helped me. Elder was a champion both on and off the golf course. He established a scholarship, for low-income students, in need of financial assistance for college, sat on the board of Goodwill, and generated funds for the United Negro College Fund. Augusta National stated in 2020 that it would start a women's golf program at Payne Institution, a historically black college and university, as well as endow the Lee Elder scholarships in his name. His legacy of greatness, will not be forgotten.